Chuck Nicotini. Anthony Pittman. Hector Ledesma. Drea Ender. This is Maximum Sports. You know, Anthony, we have seen some crazy stuff on the job over the years, and the last play in the Trinity game, <laughs> that certainly has to rank right up near the top. <laughs> Got that straight. The Tigers were down to their final play today in Millsaps. That's Jackson, Mississippi, in Mississippi, of course. And what a play it turned out to be to snatch the victory, uh, wait, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Now, shades of Cal Stanford, the band is on the field. Only better now. Now, here's the call from the Trinity webcast earlier today. Barmore's got three wide receivers to his left and two to the right. He takes the snap. There's only three men rushing for Millsaps. Barmore throws it over the middle, complete to Thompson. Thompson looking for a block. He laterals it to Curry, and Curry laterals it again, and is caught again, and Thompson now on the lateral, and now the lateral to Thompson, and he laterals it back to Maddox on the other side. Maddox looking for a block. He fakes the, fakes the lateral to Curry. Now he laterals it to Curry. Curry's at the 49-yard line. He's dancing around. He throws it back now to Maddox, who throws it across the field to Barmore. Barmore run. He's looking for a block. He's got a convoy. He's going to throw it to Thompson. Thompson's at the 30-yard line. Thompson now laterals it back to Curry at the 35. They're running out of spaces. Curry fakes. He's going to lateral it to Tomlin. Tomlin's got a chance to go. Tomlin's got a chance to go. He laterals it. Now he's going to go to Maddox. Maddox at the 30-yard line. And now it's a lateral, and Curry's still going! No way! Curry's no way! Curry, he goes! The Curry's down! Go! The Curry's down! Curry's down! Curry's down! The game's going! Curry's down! Curry's down! Curry's down! The lateral! Curry's down! The Tigers lateraled it! And kept lateraling! And the game is over! The Tigers win! The Tigers win! The Tigers lateral it! And keep lateral it! And they score from the 39-yard line! The Tigers win the football game! The game is over! Oh, seeing is believing, right? What's that, 14, 15 laterals? Trinity wins by four. They arrive tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we will get their reaction to this amazing victory tomorrow night here on Max Sports. I can't but thinking is all downhill from here. Got Hard straight, to top man. that. Got that straight. All right, a swarm of controversy surrounding Dennis Franchione and the Aggies this year, but even with that said, A&M still leading the Big 12 South along with Oklahoma to start the day, believe it or not. And a chance for A&M to take a half gay lead over the Idle Sooners, but in order to do so, they'd have to hand the Kansas Jayhawks their first loss of the season. Well, KU has quite a defense, and it was on parade in the first half. A&M goes forward on fourth down deep in Kansas territory late in the second half. With A&M's kicking problems this year, I don't question the move here, but the play call... That's a little suspect with everybody in the gym knowing Javorski Lane is going to get the ball. 11 Jayhawks, as you see, stopping the play, so we're tied at zero at the break. Second half, all Kansas, their big back, coming up big repeatedly. Brandon McAnderson, a.k.a. Brandon McButterpants, gets his first touchdown to make it 10-0. And then after an Aggie turnover, it's McButterpants again. Dude's KU's version of Javorski. Aggies make it respectable at the end, but Kansas stays unbeaten for the first time in almost a century. 99 years to be exact. And considering just how bad Nebraska has been this year, you'd figure a trip to Lincoln for the Longhorns would be a walk in the park. Lincoln Park. Someone forgot to tell the Cornhuskers, though. Nebraska late in the first half, Sam Keller to Nate Swift. 10-3, Nebraska has the lead at the break. Nebraska by two now in the fourth, and here come the Longhorns and Jamal Charles. And here's something you can't teach in football, any sport, it's pure speed. Hitting the outside, and he's gone, goodbye. 86 yards, the Horns went for two and missed, 21-17 Texas. Charles will do it again. He's in charge. Watch him go on a third and three to the house. What a day for Charles, especially in the fourth quarter. 290 yards rushing, 217. In the fourth, Horns win a close one, 28 to 25. You know, Texas Tech had dug themselves quite a hole today at home against Colorado. Tried to dig out of it late. The Raiders converted huge fourth down play right here. Graham Harrell hooking up with Edward Britton, backs his way in. Got the Colorado lead down to 31-26. So the Raiders needing to get an onside kick or this game was over, and they certainly had their shot when the ball actually comes free. However, there's nobody from Tech there on the second wave. Tyson Dupree recovers for the buffs. 
Colorado able to run the clock out and hang on to win this one by five. Scores from around the Big 12, Kansas State, as you see, big over Baylor, 51 to 13, and Missouri whoops Iowa State by two touchdowns. Well, a Hondo high school football player is listed in critical condition tonight in intensive care after collapsing following a game last night. Jose Robles was airlifted to University Hospital here in San Antonio last night. Robles was coming off a tremendous game in the Owls win over Crystal City, scoring five touchdowns, included a 95-yard kickoff return in the fourth quarter. High school football.